my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my YouTube videos. Um, so I'm really feeling my top today. Like ever since I put it on, I've just been in such a posy vibe. It's from Primark. I mean, Primark clothes very rarely give me this much happiness. So in the form of Marie Kondo, this sparks joy. Um, so I'm really happy with it. And to be honest, I'm at that stage of the year where I'm like, I just need to be in spring wear, even though it's freezing outside. It is like the beginning of, well, the end of January. Um, and I just want to wear summer clothes. Um, it's probably because I'm planning my summer retreat that um, I'm like, I just want it to be warm already. So today's video is my January favorites. Everything I've been loving throughout January and what I recommend. So without further ado, here are my five top products I've been loving this month. So first of all, is something which is not new to me. I have used West Lab bath salts for probably a good year and a half, two years now. Um, but I just realized I don't highlight this enough. I, I don't think they have ever been in a favorite. Favorite. So I was like, I use these every single week. So this is like 100% a big favorite of mine, month in, month out. So um, I've got the Epsom salt here today. I do use the pink Himalayan salt, but West Lab salts I have used just like purely because of simplicity. Um, they have been in my local boot stores. So obviously it's been really easy to grab um, and really easy to get my hands on. And also they have the best discounts. So I always bulk buy from Lloyd's Pharmacy. Hello, used to be coupon queen. So <laughs> I have all the money saving tips for you guys. Um, so yeah, I get this from um, Lloyd's Pharmacy in bulk buy. So I normally get like five bags of each. I go all out, my stockpile's nicely stocked. Um, and they just make these so much cheaper. They are really affordable anyway. Um, boots normally have these half price. A lot of the times they're about like 250 when they're half price. Um, but you get a really big bag, but I like to use a lot. So <laughs> I do go through these very well. Um, but yeah, so the, the reason why these are kind of like spiritual or such or the why I use them so much is the pink Himalayan salt is very good for calming, very good for um, detoxifying. That's it, I thought this one was detox. No, pink Himalayan salt is very good for detoxifying. It um, balances your chakras um, and it, it's you know known for that and it is just so relaxing, I love it. So this one I sort of came across a bit later on after using Himalayan salt for a while and this one is reviving so it helps to relax aching muscles. Now I think this has got magnesium in it, am I? making that up it is magnesium sulfate yes i was right okay <laughs> i'm like i've recommended this to people for years so if i got it wrong then i'm gonna be in a lot of trouble but yeah so this has got magnesium in so basically when magnesium goes into our body because i know i'm quite deficient in that um it really uplifts us it gives us like a really boost and i always feel like uplifted i feel just relaxed from the bath but also like revitalized so reviving is literally the key word here so um definitely recommend getting yourself epsom salt in your bath definitely recommend getting pink himalayan salt as well for obviously balancing your chakras like these two together are just make my bath so balancing so like oh amazing my baths are like spiritual things babes they're so so good so put some music on get your bath salts in put a lush bath bomb in, bath bomb in or another bath bomb company you prefer um and that's how i have my baths but i love my bath times they're so spiritual whether it's reading listening to music or just like meditating i just really love being in that surrounding and obviously these bath salts just really really help to Oh, I just feel like a new woman sometimes. So let me know if you try bath salts at all, if you can recommend any others, but Epsom salt and pink Himalayan salt by West Lab are the best ones I recommend. So my next favorite is a lot closer to my heart. So my gorgeous mum started up her business um, the end of last year. So I've seen this business come to life over the last 18 months. She's had a lot of pressure for me to be like, come on, let's do this, let's get on the social media, let's go. So she's had the best people around her because obviously my dad's run businesses throughout his whole life. Um, probably where I get it from and obviously I've, you know, run a few businesses more in the 21st century with technology. So obviously I've helped her with the social media side of stuff and, you know, the promotion side of stuff. So I've seen these come to life, I'm really proud of her and they are just so, so beautiful. So this is the larger candle. She has smaller, I think they're 30 CL candles. So like, you know, the smaller ones like I have on my website and obviously the big three wick ones as well. So this is my favorite of the month. I've been loving Tranquility for a long while out of her range, um, but I thought I need to spice it up. So I've gone for Fresh Fig. 
and it just smells so good like these candles are so good when they're not even lit like they fragrance the room so well which is so important in my eyes because it's like a free diffuser basically it fragrances the room these burn really well they smell really well and they're super affordable for the luxurious kind of quality that they are so like i said there is six fragrances in the range you've got like peony tranquility uh fresh fig i'm trying to remember that wild elderflower I think sensual did we release that one i think she really sensual i'm not I, i'm certain i'm certain so those are the fragrances they're really really lovely really luxurious um i love the smells of them and obviously because i know they're made with love like this is how i can vouch for them even more because i've seen these beauties come to life i've seen the production i've seen her incredible business take off um, and so many people are loving it which is super amazing um to see like some of my followers obviously come across it um some of you have seen them in like hairdressers and stuff um and it's just amazing to see her business take off so well so quickly as well so yeah i'll leave a link down below make sure to go and give my mum some love she has an amazing instagram as well called million green i forgot i haven't even said the brand name they're called million green um so it's a beautiful story behind it millie is my mum's great grandma um so she's like my great great grandma or was it her grandma i think it's my great grandma Okay, I think Millie was her grandma, which is my great grandma. That's where I'm getting great grandma from. Um, so obviously I never met her sadly, but like she was a big inspiration to my mum. And green comes from her love for gardening. So I love the name, super, you know, relative to our family, um, which is a beautiful meaning behind it. I think there's just so much love and good vibes in these. So make sure to go and check them out. Follow her on Insta. She's got a really good Instagram page as well. They're just super great candles and I just want to burn them all literally but go and smell them for yourself go and try them out but they are beautiful beautiful scent my next favorite i've been loving throughout january is my gorgeous friend natalia's new product so she's opened up her own like little spiritual store on her website recently um and she very kindly sent me one of these like i want to say like four months ago um when she was kind of in production of these and testing out all the different crystals um and you know testing out the spray so i got like a very beta version um of her sprays which i absolutely loved it smelled amazing oh the vibes were so good so she's tweaked it a little bit in this one um so we've got the positivity energy spray it's so good so you know me i love my aura sprays so into them i use them every day to obviously like cleanse myself meditate um work with angels so i definitely use these a lot and get so much use out of them and i really loved how affordable natalia made these um and how big they are as well because the ones i'm used to are normally about like I think like 70 mil maybe a bit less and this is 100 mils so she's got two options available one in a plastic bottle which is a little bit cheaper and one if you'd prefer a glass bottle which i think is 12 pound and this one's nine pound so i could not buy one because i was like i need them i need them all so i love her little cute labels um like this one is infused with amethyst clear quartz rose quartz citrine and selenite it also includes chalice wells water which is glastonbury chalice well so super spiritual um um, essential oils traces of alcohol to preserve the water um so you can get these on natalia's website right now um i'm really excited about the other one she's going to be bringing out as well later on but i love spraying this i just always feel so good afterwards i'm just like positive vibes yes so really proud of you hun they're really really good um and i'm just really proud that i can support my mum's business and natalia's business and i genuinely love the products more than life so last but certainly not least of this month i've got two favorites rolled into one um i had to do them as two separate favorites because they deserve to be two separate favorites um so one of them if you have been following my instagram stories you will know i have been hinged i have been mrs hinge to the max ever since i found this amazing lady on instagram she has taken the world by storm if you live in the uk and you don't know who mrs hinch is have you been living under a rock literally because she's got over 1.6 million followers her cleaning tips are the best so i know everybody's like into marie kondo at the moment because of the netflix show i have watched the first episode thanks to all your lovely recommendations um i do love her vibe i love how she blesses her home i love that and that's what's led me to my first favorite it's just the folding i just don't think i have time to do the folding now i know that sounds lazy but to me i would rather hinge my home and have it smelling good and have some messy drawers if i'm honest like maybe that's just lazy but um i really 
I'm not going to be sat there folding my clothes in that way but I love her vibe of when you hold the thing and then you give thanks and obviously give it to charity I'm all for that that sounds really good and giving thanks for our clothes giving thanks for our house I have conversations with my house like all the time so I love her vibe I love her kind of ethics around that stuff but the actual folding it's not for me babe but what I did do was I got some of these personalized little um cleaning caddies off Etsy to store my cleaning products in all my um Zaflora and cleaning products which Mrs Hinch has made me buy which well, she didn't make me I wanted to but they are awesome so if you don't know who Mrs Hinch is go and check her out she's a bloody favorite in herself so um yeah basically she's another we'll add a sixth favorite Mrs Hinch is the sixth favorite so I love these little caddies I got you can have like a personalized um, little message on there. I did want to floor it on there, but for trademark reasons, they couldn't do it. And I was like, no! So, um, yeah, I just got clean on there to store all my Zaflora um, in. And then I've got another one for cloth. So these sit under my sink in these little caddies. And they're just so good. So you could literally use these all around the house. Not just for cleaning stuff, makeup, clothes. Um, oh my god, like everything. So have a look at these on Etsy. They're really, really good, really affordable. Um, and I just think they're really cute and they're a really nice size as well. This is a small one, so I fitted quite a lot in a small one really so for a medium one they're going to be even bigger so then finally my other favorite is of course what you're looking at the Zaflora so um this is a condensed box I had more I had more and I was like no Emma I know you're coupon queen I know you love to stockpile I know that you're going to use this Zaflora like I'll get through it eventually but I was like yeah I've got too much so I did give some away to my friends I was like help me out here have free Sephora so my favorite one out of the Sephora is the Twilight Garden I originally got the fresh linen one to start off with because I love clean cotton fresh linen smells they're my favorite Yankee candles so I was like I'm definitely gonna love it um I did love it it was just a bit boring a bit vanilla if I'm honest not in the smell but just a bit plain um so I got Twilight Garden once I saw it in like my local co-op I was like "Ooh, a new one I'll try it um, and I love this one. This one is definitely my favorite. It's a really weird smell to describe. It's very musky, um, but with a hint of like floral in it, because obviously it's Twilight Garden, um, but it's a really nice smell. I love mopping my floors with this, cleaning my surfaces, wiping down my radiators with this. Oh, the house is gleaming because of Zaflora. Um, so when <laughs> this is a funny manifestation for you guys. So I've been tagging Zaflora forever, and obviously Mrs. Hinch when I do my cleaning post to help you guys out. Um, and I wanted to see if I could manifest something in my feminine because I've been working more in my feminine um, energy rather than my masculine energy and I was like right I am going to manifest working with Sephora so that's all I said I didn't say like paid I didn't say like sponsored I was like I just want to work with Sephora um, and yeah the next day they posted on Instagram that they wanted to work with bloggers so if you're a blogger to get in touch so I was like bingo there's my inspired action so I replied to the post um, and entered and then yep I got the message I think it was a week ago yeah a week ago now that I have been picked out of 3,500 people to be their brand ambassador I was like like this is such a big achievement to me literally the floor is like life absolute life so to be asked to be their brand ambassador is amazing so just to clarify i've not been paid to say this i've not been sponsored um all of what you've seen is what i have bought i have not been gifted anything yet or started that yet so all of this is already love this is already what i've bought and what i have stashed so i'm gonna have even more hence my clear out so um yeah twilight garden is definitely my favorite one another one of my favorites which i've recently come across is this one so this is mrs hinch's like all-time fave one i didn't really understand why there was pets on it um but i think it's just meant to remove the odor of pets all of these are safe around pets a lot of people have like griped about that saying like it's not safe but on the boxes and on their website they definitely say it is safe around animals um and obviously this one specifically because they're promoting animals on it um so it, if you don't know what the floor is i know i haven't really discussed it have i i've just said smell these they smell great so the floor is a uh, antibacterial spray so a bit like dettol it's, it kills 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria but you must dilute it so 
I'll show you the bottles. Um, you get the bottles out and obviously they look like this and you've got smaller ones. Um, and then you just use a cap full in a spray bottle and dilute it with water. So whatever you're doing in, if it's like a little mop and bucket or whatever, always dilute it with water. Do not use this straight, <laughs> it's, it's, it's too much. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving the mountain air one um, just because it's a very fresh smell. So I pop this in my Vielda, is that what it's called? Vielda mop, um, which Mrs. Hinch recommends. Um, so my best advice is one, get yourself on the Sephora bandwagon. and your house is gonna smell amazing. This gets up so much stuff, can I just say? So my dressing table, which is literally here, has had weird makeup stains for a very long time and I've tried multiple things on it and nothing worked. I use the flora and it takes up everything and it doesn't ruin paint work. It doesn't like bring up, you know, paint work or anything like that. Um, so it's really, really good. Um, you can go on the Sephora website and there's actually tips on what you can use it on all around the house, all weird and wonderful things. Um, like you can put it in your washing machine. I did that yesterday. So my washing machine smells gorgeous. Um, sinks, it's really good on. Drains, um, oh God, loads of stuff, mopping um cleaning surfaces oh just everything everything so there's so much use you can do with this so many people have been on this bandwagon for years i know but i i am late to the party but i don't care i am in love with the flora it has transformed my life <laughs> But I'm really into my cleaning right now and I'm really happy that I'm into my cleaning because I really enjoy it and it's something I've never enjoyed. And like, I just feel so much more in my feminine energy when I clean and I just feel so happy. It brings me so much joy. So for me, I'm like, yes, thank you, Mrs. Hinch for helping me to get into cleaning, taking on adult life like properly and you know, being a good potential housewife. So there are loads of Sephora's in the range. I have got some Christmas ones as well. I got half price, so I'm saving them for next year. Um, but yeah, definitely go and find these. A lot of places are now stocking this all because of Mrs. Hinch. So you ain't gonna have to go far to find all of this stuff. Um, but yes, loving Sephora, love Mrs. Hinch, love my little caddies as well. So that's my Marie Kondo input is my caddy organizers. So I like organizing within my cupboards. I like that, like I will do that, but the folding of the clothes, I'm not sure I'm sold. I think Mrs. Hinch needs her own Netflix show. Like I don't wanna put the two against each other, definitely not, cause they're both like different for so many amazing reasons and they're both lovely, but I'm just more drawn to the cleaning side rather than the tidying and organizing. Cause I'm quite a minimalist anyway. Um, I have my, I have my tendencies, my drawers and clothes are not, minimalist whatsoever but you know actual items and stuff around my house i am definitely a minimalist anyway so i feel that i've kind of got it down to a t i just think my actual in drawer tidiness could be a lot better so anyway that is my january favorites i hope you've enjoyed watching this video everything i've spoken about will be linked in the description box down below so thank you so much for watching i appreciate all your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because i would love love to see you again so don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because i reply to them all and I will see you in my next video which will be next week. Lots of love guys!